That was it. Question for Rob. What was it was like Scotty. working with Scotty Riggs? And do you have any? Yeah, Scotty, man. I heard he's, uh, he got partnered up with DDP. Him and Buff Bagwell are trying to get sober. Well, that's not, that's not entirely correct. So I'm glad to have the chance to set that straight. Holy oh, crap. Man. I've been on here for almost an hour and a half already. Damn. I thought I wasn't going to do that today after doing that last time for, like three hours. <laughs> we love having you, man. Time flies with your boat. Don't worry, hey, my you, battery is dying. So where are you going to? You're leaving, Paul, or you're just leaving soon? And, and it's my my, my battery is dying soon, so I'll be off shortly. Oh, okay. You just uh, be you. Just do you, brother. You're not saying bye, but you're giving us a heads up in case you disappear. Uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever works. Um, Scotty Riggs, what was it oh, like? Uh, okay, yeah. so so yeah, so no, he he wasn't. He didn't have any um, substance abuse problems, unlike most of the wrestlers. That wasn't his deal. Oh. Um, but he did have, you know, a – damn, I just realized he needs his own dark side of the ring story because I didn't – I was only going to go back a few years with, with him. But I know fucking way back when this shit started with him, man. Scotty, American males, good-looking dude, great athlete, cool dude, substitute teacher, smart guy. He married wow. He married the wrong woman. Oh. And, and she broke his heart. Okay. I won't give too many details because I don't know if, you know, if he'd be yeah. cool with that, you know. But right. she ended up like – being a total hoe bag and having a relationship with a very famous actor that we all know and and have watched in a lot of movies um, and embarrassed him. And like many, he was so excited about life. He just bought this house and was showing me the house, walking around it, you know, and, and uh, I do remember he was showing me that she was on the cover of, I think it was cherry magazine. I don't know if it was the cover. She was in it, you know, spread Eagle and all that. And I was like, let's, kind of weird you know um, <laughs> that's how to be open-minded like hey if, if you're cool with that then hey i'm cool with that whatever but anyway broke his heart and man he went downhill and he stayed downhill forever ever got out of shape he did actually for a while back then and this was a long long time ago he did actually have a minute where he was on the opiates um okay I, yeah, I actually helped get him in to rehab, um, and he kicked the habit, but he was still – had no self-confidence after what that woman did, you know, did to him and looking at himself and his health, and then his mom died. I mean, his dad died and his mom died. He lost the house, you know. He was living in his car. Wow. And, and he just had these cats. And, you know, I, I would – when I would call to check on him, he would tell me I – I'm not taking any help, you know, just knowing that you're there for me, it, it, you know, it means everything. And I'm like, yeah, but I mean, come on, dude. What about, what about getting a hotel for the night? You know, I can, you know, no, no. anyway, um, recently Marcus Bagwell um, reached him quite possibly at the 11th hour fucking right. You know, when I heard him say on the dark side of the ring thing that he was probably half a day away from offing himself. Wow. And anyway, wow. yeah, anyway, he went to DDP uh, and, and he started doing the DDP yoga and then, uh, and he started, um, um, we both started learning about um, peptides. I don't know okay. if I know about peptides, but they've been like so helpful to both of us. Um, you don't know what peptides are, Paul? Or, no, it's not, I mean, I've heard of, I know I've heard of them, you know, but I think yeah. of them in like a supplement, like it's what's listed in like it a is, supplement of sorts. Right, it, it is, it is, but they're like amazing. And if you YouTube, you know, peptides or ask AI, I guess that's how you do it nowadays. I'm trying to learn that still, but, um, but they are, they're amazing. So anyway, um, Scotty is doing amazing now, and then he got his uh, – he didn't have any teeth. His teeth had rotted or whatever, and now right. he's got a brand new set of teeth. He's a handsome motherfucker now, and I just saw him. Right. And Katie says all the time, she's like, wow, man, he's hot. He's jacked. He's got um, – uh, he's he shaved, you know. He had the Papa Smurf look going. And, 
he, he shaved that and he looked when I see him, the energy that he puts out makes me think like, who is that entrepreneur? You know, like, what's he do? Like, I know he's some rich bachelor that does something, but I don't know what, like, that's how he strikes me now. And he's still coming to terms with this himself, you know, as far as like, uh, feeling good and having everyone tell him that he looks good. And he, it's been quite a ride, uh, but that's where Scotty is right now. He's in a good place. He's doing signings at um, different conventions and stuff. And uh, I think I'll have him back on the uh, the YouTube page because I have guests sometimes, but a lot of times I don't. I like to do it both ways. And uh, I like to talk a lot, obviously. But um, <laughs> it, last time I had him on was the Papa Smurf pre-teeth look so i gotta have him back on <laughs> yeah. yeah i highly recommend people look up the was it is it the resurrection of scotty riggs or something that's that's that called, video yeah. not so long ago yeah like the resurrection oh, inspiring, of scotty riggs. Right? One for Buff Dog. it's awesome because yeah. he's one of the sweetest guys you know like i've never met him in person but we've exchanged messages online and he's just he's very he was always very positive um and really cool and so just seeing that he was always one of my favorites too and uh, you know, y'all had that cool ass program when he had the, the patch eye, right? he's doing the clapping and all that stuff. And, uh, it's just yeah, some great memories for me. Yeah, it was a part yeah of but the then flop. when he went to, when he went to ECW, he kept the eye patch. Oh, did he? Uh, and he was, yeah, and he was doing the clap gimmick. I remember cause he was doing programs with you and then he was like, he'd grab your arms and make you do the clap like during the heat. Yeah. And so, I started uh, yeah. my best friend and then turned heel on me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. yeah. Rob, you got a lot, you got in some trouble, right? With the getting.